Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you a few products that I used um, frequently during my Smile Direct Club journey and how I like each product and if I still use them. Before I get into today's video, I am going to tell you guys how much I love you because I think it's important to not only tell you guys how much I appreciate your support, but to also tell you guys how much positivity you have brought into my life. Honestly, this has been one of the most exciting things I think I've ever done in my life. I wake up each morning and while I drink my coffee, I look at all the different comments, the new likes on my post, the new subscribers that I have, um, and all, in all of my social media, I'm getting so much support and love and I really can't be more grateful for that. So thank you to all who have been there since my first video and who continue to support me. I hope that you stick around throughout this journey. Also, one quick thing before I get started, one of my amazing supporters actually reached out to me and told me that the link in my Instagram bio was not working and I looked into that and actually created an awesome link. Now that actually works. It brings you to a page. Um, I can't remember the website as I'm talking right now, but um, in this description below, I'll link it. It's pretty awesome. It allowed me to create a smart link to um, my YouTube channel. So when you click on the link in my Instagram bio, it will bring you to a separate page with all of my videos, and then you can individually click on which video you would like to see. And it will bring you to the YouTube app if you have it. If not, it will bring you to the YouTube page on um, Safari or Chrome. And I think that's super exciting and it will certainly help my channel grow. Now, let's get right into the content for today's video. So while I was waiting to receive my aligners in the mail as they were being made, um, I took it upon myself to watch a million YouTube videos on different people's um, reviews of Smile Direct Club and of course what products they used and found helpful during their journey. So I took their suggestions and I kind of made a list of all the products that I would like to choose and I went out and bought them. Some things I bought from a Walmart Supercenter or some things that I bought came from a Rite Aid or Walgreens. Um, others came from Amazon. And with each product, I'll tell you where I got those items and um, about how much they costed. So during this journey, you'll find that um, you have wicked dry mouth. And for me personally, I've always had um, a problem keeping a lot of water and fluids in my body and I just tend to have dry mouth anyways and dry lips so um, when I heard that there's well aligners in general um, tend to give you dry mouth I took extra precautions so that I would not be in pain so the first thing that I saw a review for that was recommended for anybody who was trying to smile direct club or clear aligners in general was TheraBreath brand mouthwash, um, toothpaste, and oral care products. So I don't have that product here with me now because after I was done with my clear aligners, I did stop using that, not only because it was a little bit more on the pricey side for me for mouthwash, but also because I didn't really like the flavors. I did pull up a picture of the TheraBreath mouthwash that I have used. Um, I'll show you that right now. This one, I'm actually on the TheraBreath um, website and it says that it goes for about $10.95 each bottle. Um, TheraBreath 24 hour healthy gums and oral rinse. So there's no burn with these rinses. They kind of are just like, you swish around it's uh, flavored water. It's disgusting, I don't like it. Um, but it did help me with my dry mouth. And so, I think the specific one that I had and I had used, it um, works for 24 hours. It helps fight dry mouth and of course bacterial odor and stuff. I did get my TheraBreath Oral Rinse from Walmart and I think it was about the same price, $10.95, $11, which was fine and I was okay with spending that much money um, on Oral Rinse when I was on aligners. But now I find the best use out of what I use now, which is just regular store brand mouthwash, mint flavored. It leaves a little tingle. There's some alcohol content and it just leaves a burn and I like the burn. I apologize if you hear my stomach growling at any point. 
since the first video that I've uploaded, it seems like I picked the worst times to film. It's like when I start filming, I'm not hungry at all. And then in the middle of filming, I'm starving and my stomach is growling. The next item that I would like to show you that I did use during my Smile Direct Club journey, Aqua 4 um, Advanced Therapy Lip Moisturizer. So I had watched a video, of course, a review of products for Aligner Journeys and one of the girls mentioned that this was a lifesaver for them. This specific Aquaphor moisturizer is for dry, cracked, and irritated skin, which my skin is always irritated. And you'll see that when I do a makeup tutorial that I have the most sensitive skin in the world. So I would recommend this Aquaphor moisturizer because it is a little bit thicker than other lip um, chapsticks that I've used. And I had found that if I put this on right before bed, it did moisturize my lips overnight. Um, you know, typically during the day when you put on moisturizer, it only lasts for a few minutes because you do eat, you drink unintentionally, you lick your lips, and basically it's just not as effective um, as just a regular stick of chapstick, which I use Burt's Bees um, during the day. So I found that if I put, if I put this on before bed, um, in the morning I feel like my lips are moisturized and they also looked healthier. Um, with dry mouth tends to come dry lips, so pairing this with a TheraBreath rinse really helped and kept my dry mouth under control and my lips well moisturized. Moving on to the next product that I found I used often, the LED light that Smile Direct Club provided me. Um, I did show you this in my last video about Smile Direct Club, um, but I'm going to show you a little bit more in depth about it today. As you know from before, Smile Direct Club does provide you with these. They gave me three of these in my um, box that I got in the mail with all of my aligners. And then with this from my first appointment, they gave me one. This is this close up. It says two days, four uses. Empower your smile to shine even brighter. So like in high school, I used um, the whitening strips. Those never worked for me. I felt like the texture on my teeth was just horrendous. I hated it. And I also tried whitening gel. I think I used to get that from the dollar store. That actually worked pretty well. If you guys want, in an entire separate video, I can do a fun video on um, a full makeup tutorial, face makeup tutorial, um, from all dollar store products. I think that would be super duper fun. So during my journey, I would use this and pair it with the Braid On Smile Direct Club LED light. And I would do this about twice a week. Um, I'm going to tell you the truth. It feels strange when it's on. Um, you plug it into your phone in the LED light. I can't show you right now. Well, I think I can show you on my iPad what it looks like. So you get like this port with all these different things. You can plug it into an iPhone. Um, I don't know what the other ones are for. But anyways, you just connect it like this. And then you plug it into your device, your mobile device, which is super convenient. Because, I mean, when you're just brushing your teeth or in the bathroom, you probably have your phone with you because that's how today's age is. So, you plug it in. Then you put this stuff on your teeth. And then you put this in your mouth. Yeah, so now that that's over with, I did this about twice a week during my journey, um, every week. And... In between those days, if I had time or if I remembered, I would also use this charcoal powder. And I love this stuff. I will be using this stuff to the end of time. The only thing I will say about this advanced coconut charcoal powder, um, peppermint flavored, is that with anything charcoal, it can make a mess. And my bathroom is practically all white and light blue. So 
I mean, I'm a disaster and so was my bathroom every time I would use this. It would take me forever to clean up. So this is um, Active Wow Charcoal. So basically what you do is you get your toothbrush. I have a specific toothbrush for this powder because it, like I said, it makes a mess. So you get your toothbrush and um, I think, well, I usually get my toothbrush a little bit wet and I dip it into this charcoal powder and then basically just brush it on my teeth like normal. And um, I leave it on there for five to 10 minutes. It recommends, it doesn't have a recommended time that you leave it on. It does say that you can do it up to twice daily. So I don't think it's, um, that big of a deal if you leave it on longer or if you leave it on less and do it more often. So I would use that Bright On LED twice a week and then I would use this in between those days and um, my teeth always stayed bright. With clear liners, there is a chance that your teeth get tinted a little bit, especially if you're not super hygienic. So I just looked up where I got this active charcoal powder and it was on Amazon. Um, it looks like it goes for about $14 to $15 per this little jar. This is 20 grams and for the 20 gram jar, it is about $14.99 on Amazon. I'm not sure what it goes for at other stores or other online stores. I think personally it is worth the price. Um, I know $15 can seem a little scary for this little tiny jar, but it goes a long way. I've had this um, for two months now. I've had this for about two months, and I don't use it as frequently now that I'm done with my aligners, but I still do use it at least once a week. The next thing that I'm going to show you guys is um, how I took care of my aligners when they weren't in my teeth. So since they were in my mouth for about 22 hours per day, I didn't do this as often, but when I was home and I had them out while I was eating or drinking anything that was not clear, I did have them in a little plastic jar that I got from Rite Aid, which is now Walgreens, but I don't know um, how much that little jar was, but it's just a little plastic container. And um, I would use Effordent or pull a dent. I don't remember which one I show I tried first, but one of them, um, I did not like the taste that it left in my aligners. It kind of tasted chemically and um, it was really not a pleasant thing. I think it was this Effordent um, Powerful Oxy Action. Antibacterial Denture Cleanser. Five-in-one clean cleaning system. Um, I don't remember. I think I got these at Market 32 or Price Shopper, and they only are like two ninety nine each. Um, for depending on how um, big the count is, this one's a hundred and two count. And um, so I bought this Pulladen. Sorry, the box is destroyed. I got this Pulladen at Market 32 as well, and. I think I like this one more because it is more of a minty flavor. In between eating times or meal times, I would put my aligners into this plastic jar. This is the plastic jar that I did get at Walgreens. Well, it was Rite Aid when I bought this. Um, my clear aligners are in it right now, so I, I'm not going to show you really too much, but the top comes off and in here is this blue strainer type of thing that you can pull them out so that you don't get any liquid on your fingers and then it holds the liners in there. Now since I'm done with the 22 hour per day um, aligner cycle, I am only wearing them at nighttime for at least 12 hours a night and when I wake up in the morning the first thing I do is take them out, put them in that white jar and then fill it up with water, put two tabs of the Polyden in and then let it go for the whole day. Next product I'm going to show you is actually something that I still use, and that is these charcoal toothbrushes. I got them on Amazon. I think it was like $5.99 for a pack of five. It was super awesome. Please also leave a comment down below if you would like to know where I 
got any of these products specifically, you can message me or reach out to me on any of my social media and I will lead you in the direction that I got these products if you cannot find them on your own. Love. So this is actually a brand new toothbrush. Like I said, it had five in the pack and I'm still on my third one. I switch about every month, but I got two different packs. Um, one for me and one for my honey, and he actually didn't like the bristles because they were too soft. So that is one thing that you're going to want to make sure of is that you get a very soft bristled brush. And that's because when you have your aligners in all day long, when you finally take them out, they are so sensitive and um, really prone to um, bleeding and getting cut. When your teeth are that sensitive, you don't want to be putting a lot of pressure on them. So this soft bristled brush came in handy. Also, it's supposed to have like active charcoal or something in the bristles. I didn't notice a difference um, when using it and it's kind of hard to tell the difference for me because I'm always using the charcoal powder. The next thing is something that was provided from Smile Direct Club. They gave me two of them and that this one I have not opened. It's called the Aligner Removing <laughs> the liner remover thingabob. Thingamabob. So cute. This came in such handy when I first started using aligners because they were so tight in my mouth. Each time I would like do a new set for that month, they would be so tight in my mouth that I couldn't like take them out with my fingers. Um, actually, one, one of the times that I didn't use this, my aligners cracked and then they were loose for the next two weeks and I was concerned that my teeth would regress and I was so nervous. I opened this one so that you guys can get a better look at it. I'll probably just toss it because I'm never gonna use it again. Um, so it has like this pointy edge here and then a less pointy edge here that I assume, I never use this edge I don't think, I did use this one. Um, so when your liners are in, you go from the very, very back. You can use that clear, um, funny thing that people use with Mad Libs games and open it up if you have to. Um, and get this and poke it in the back. It takes some time and it really helps loosen your aligners in such a safe way so that you don't um, scratch your gums, you don't break your aligners. I found that to be extremely helpful and like I said, they do send you with two of them in your box. The next thing I did show you in my last video are these Smile Direct Club cases that they also send you. Super helpful for when we go out to dinner. Um, when you go to school and you need to put them somewhere safe. Like I said in the last video, do not put them in a napkin and just um, put them on the counter or put them in your purse. They are very, very delicate pieces of plastic that's made with a 3D printer. So um, it's not like heavy duty plastic um, that can withstand anything. It's very sensitive plastic, prone to breaking. Um, you just need to be very careful with it. And since you're paying for it, take the responsibility and take care of your stuff. I do wanna say quickly that the retainers that you get after your treatment are thicker because they are meant to be worn for six months um, straight. So they are thicker plastic and you still don't wanna just put them anywheres because they are still plastic and breakable. The next thing that I used very often when I had my clear liners in, ibuprofen. I often found myself going into the office at work and asking the ladies in the office for ibuprofen. Because say you just switched to your liners that morning to your new pair, which I don't recommend doing if you have a full day of work or school ahead of you. You don't want to be wearing your new um, pair of aligners um, outside of the house. Like it hurts so bad. Um, a couple times that I put them in before work and I got my teeth well adjusted to my new aligners, um, they would bleed. And it's pretty embarrassing when um, somebody comes up to you and says, what's in your teeth? And you, you like, I don't know. So you go to the bathroom and you look and it's actually 
in the clear aligners, it's a little puddle of blood because your gums and teeth are now adjusting to this new aligners. So I do not recommend you put in a new pair of aligners um, for that month before you go out. Always, if you're gonna do a new pair of aligners, put them on before bed so that you can adjust overnight. Of course, you can get ibuprofen anywhere. I typically buy mine either at the dollar store or at Rite Aid Walgreens um, because it's convenient for me. It's right down the street. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot the most important product that I use during my journey. I would have been so mad if I forgot this in this video. So this purchase I made on Amazon and they're called Movements. They're little tooth shaped movements um, that are sugar free. You can have them in when you have your aligners in. So like you can eat them when your aligners are in, which you should know by now that you can't really eat anything um, other than I found a hack that you can eat popsicles and the I found popsicles to be extremely helpful during my journey, um, especially when relieving the pain from my aligners after I had started a new pair. And I found that the dye in the popsicles did not stain my aligners while they were in. That was super nice because they do say don't have colored liquids when you have them in because they might stain. So this next product um, I got on Amazon and it comes in a pack of three and in each pack um, in that, there's 20 of these. And I don't have any with me right now. I do have some in my locker at work. I'm gonna show you a picture on my iPad. I don't even know where to begin um, in telling you how important it was and how um, helpful these were to have with me at all times during all five months of my journey. Um, with clear aligners. I guess to start off is to say um, when you are on clear aligners, the 22 hours per day that you have them in, you're not eating, um, you're not really drinking anything besides water, and you get hungry the first few weeks. Like your stomach needs to get used to having them in for 22 hours straight, and it's hard. So Having these there, these mint flavors, um, you can just pop them in when you're like feeling a little bit hungry um, and it helped a lot. Also, the super cool thing, I think they were made specifically for this, is when you get your box from Smile Direct Club, there comes these little tiny rubber, um, I don't know if, I think they're rubber, little things called chewies. And to set your liners in, um, you're supposed to put your liners in and then bite down on these chewies to set them further. One, super painful. But to get the best results, you kind of need to do it somehow or another. Um, I tried it all different ways because I'm Grace. I tried it with the chewies. I hated that immediately and did not use them after that. I tried my finger, just biting down a little bit. I have found that that's not a good idea because there is a chance that you can crack your aligners. It happened to me. So what you do is since they're tooth shaped, you can actually put them in between your teeth and slowly bite down on them. I'm sorry for the visual that I'm giving you. I don't know how else to describe it. Set your aligners and then you can eat that mint. You can eat as many as you want because they're sugar free, they're zero calories. It's wonderful. So that's it for today's video. Um, a quick rundown of all the different products that I used and where I got those products um, for my Smile Direct Club journey. And I hope this was helpful at all. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please like and comment down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Please feel free to leave a comment down below, um, whether it's on this video or on my channel in general. Any comments, um, any advice, I am very, very open to advice. 
as I get started on my YouTube journey. In my description down below, I will have all of my other social media outlets. I would really, really appreciate it and love it if you guys followed me on all of those. Go check out that awesome smart link in my Instagram bio. Thanks to one of my amazing supporters. Very quickly before I go, I do want to say that I am doing a um, drawing next weekend and it's super fun. Um, go to my Facebook page. If we're not friends already, friend request me and I will accept it. And then you will be able to um, find my most recent post that had to do with um, the drawing that I'm doing next week. So basically it is, I'm going to get at least 10 people to comment on that post and then to comment on my video, a special term, hashtag, and they will be put into a hat. I will draw out five names and the names that I pull out will um, win a full-size beauty or self-care product. There will be products in there for everybody. If you choose not to have your product, you can donate it um, to a pantry near my house and that would be super kind, but don't worry, you don't have to, you're not obligated to. You're more than welcome to do with whatever you want. If you want, you can take it and save it for a Christmas present for somebody for next year. Um, once it's out of my hands and into yours, it's your product. Basically, stay tuned for that. I'm going to, that draw starts on Sunday and I'm going to close the draw at like five o'clock, six o'clock p.m. that Sunday. And then um, I'm going to film and make my video to be seen on that Monday, that following Monday. And yeah, that's gonna be so much fun. People aren't gonna know if they win until that Monday when my video goes up. That is so much fun to me. It's kind of like sneaky, I don't know. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much, I love you all. Mwah!